Hey everyone, Aaron Albers here. So last night was the first Republican presidential primary debate. And other than Nikki Haley and maybe Ron DeSantis, the rest of the field is just no one's gonna cut, I'm gonna say this, no one's gonna cut into the lead, no one's gonna knock off Donald Trump, obviously. It's gonna be Donald Trump. And that's a shame because I understand why Donald Trump wants to get back. He felt like, and I, I'm not a believer in, the, in his claims at all. <laughs> he felt like he was cheated out of his second term because of the way things were in certain states like Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona. And, but the rest of the field, I mean, Nikki Haley, in my opinion, was a clear cut winner last night. She looked more poised, she was, gave the right answers. Ron DeSantis, like, oh, we're not going to send any more money to Ukraine. We're going to focus on the southern border, which we should, but I, I feel we can do both. That businessman, Varick, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name, because uh, I don't want to butcher it. He's a mini Donald Trump Jr. He's Donald Trump 2.0, a lot more poised, a lot more collected. Chris Christie, I, I don't even know why he's on the stage. Mike Pence, you're not very popular in the president. You're not very popular in the Republican Party. You're not going to make it past Super Tuesday. And it's just the rest of the field is just, ugh. I don't, I didn't like it. I don't like the field. And we have a very deep bench. And a lot of our best players aren't even, in my opinion, are not even thinking about running because they know Donald Trump's going to get the prime nomination. I don't know. I don't know, everyone. I mean, I mean I'll still vote for whoever the Republican nominee is, but I'm not particularly happy. If it were me, my choice ticket would be Nikki Haley and Christy Noma, South Dakota. Because those two were, especially Christy Noma, she was the voice. Her and Ron DeSantis were the voices of conservative ideals during the pandemic. And she did, she's not running. Uh, but, yeah. I was I was not impressed with it at all. Especially on like I said on the answers on the cream some people gave. Doesn't anybody teach history anymore? Does nobody understand the concept of Len Lease? Len Lease is not a new idea, it's a World War II concept. Technically if you want to be accurate, it's a World War One concept. But, uh, well, maybe we'll get a better performance out of the field the next go around in September. But <laughs> I, I may skip that one to watch football more than anything because this is the way the field is. No one's trying to cut into the lead. It seems like nobody's trying to cut into the lead. Donald Trump has. So, all right. I wish everybody a good day. Uh, Happy weekend. Yes, college football is back on this weekend. It may be week zero, and not a lot of big name schools are playing. Obviously, if you're Notre Dame and Navy, you're happy, but it's going to be a good weekend. So, have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.